You've been warned for years now that the left is too censorious. They're doing a cancel culture all over you. And yet more and more books seem to be banning, being banned. And it doesn't really look like the left is behind much of it. You can now add to that list Mouse, a very, a very well respected and well known graphic novel that has now been banned by a Tennessee school board. They banned the Pulitzer Prize winning novel from his classrooms over eight curse words and an illustration of a naked cartoon mouse. The graphic novel Mouse, a Survivor's Tale is by New Yorker Art Spiegelman, uses hand drawn illustrations of mice and cats to depict how the author's how the parents left Auschwitz during the Holocaust. And this story, like there is absolutely no way, I'm just gonna say as a side note that John Oliver is not gonna cover this. The fact that it is <laughs> fundamentally about a mouse being naked in cartoon form, it's not a human. But anyway, they've banned it. You can see a picture here. You probably come across this, perhaps in libraries, perhaps in, in, in uh, bookstores. It's quite popular, quite well known. Won a ton of literary awards back in the 90s, but 10 board members unanimously agreed to remove it. They cited the use of the phrase goddamn and drawings of naked pictures of women, uh, mice. Um, they said there is some rough objectionable language in this book. We don't need to enable or somewhat promote this stuff. I am not denying it was horrible, brutal, and cruel. Like the Holocaust? Yeah, pretty bad. Maybe worth knowing about, but Viviana, nope. Yeah. They said goddamn, so nope, you don't get this well, allegory for concentration camps. Newsflash to the school board in Tennessee. Um, all mice are naked all the time. <laughs> that is true. They're just true. running amok in our cities, flaunting their non- Nipples, I don't know, do mice have nipples? <laughs> They're mammals, right? Is that, they can we say have. nipples? Yeah. Are we gonna I get banned? I'll okay. never know because I can't see the image now. Books like this, John, not only educate our youth about the horrors of the Holocaust, but they also awaken an empathy towards suffering and, 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 and invoke a thirst for justice and for peace. And it, it starts to really kind of be like, wow, this happened. and. And to write it in a way that kids can understand it is very difficult already. Here we have some two pieces, it's mouse one and mouse two, both, both uh, I guess the sequel, what's the, I can't think of the name of the next book, the next volume. I, I don't know the name, I apologize. It's, it's mouse one and mouse two, they're both called mouse. Mm -hmm. Anyway, both have been banned. This, this is this whole attack on critical race theory, it, It's this is where it comes down to it. We don't want yeah. it, we shouldn't talk about the horrible stuff, should we? No, exactly, we shouldn't learn. Kids don't, we don't wanna learn about, the, it happened and yeah. we do need to talk about it. And it wasn't just the Jewish people that suffered a Holocaust. We have Native Americans that suffered Holocaust. We have Mesoamerica, we have all kinds of examples of this. And when we start learning about it, that's how we start changing the future. So this is just, I mean, I'm speaking to the choir here, but this is pretty horrific. And you know, Tennessee's a bit backwards in, in, in their thoughts on this, I have to say. You guys are gonna have to step it up and really start thinking about what yeah. you're- Well, ahead, look, uh, uh, unfortunately, it's it's t Tennessee is doing this, but lots of other places are banning yeah. all sorts of books for simply you know having committed the crime of being written by a member of the LGBTQ community or having a black author or whatever. Any like the standard is now if you can find a single parent that has a problem with it, you can pluck it out. You go, you take the books, I don't know, you throw them away, you burn them, and then you start talking about how cancel culture is terrible. That is how yeah. they are spending their time and mouse can teach lessons and they don't want that. They especially don't want lessons about the Holocaust. And presumably Animal Farm has pig on horse violence. So uh, that's out, can't have that. 1984, he drinks gin, that's a bad uh, example for kids. Don't learn anything kids. Look fundamentally, and this again goes out to the conservatives. They want your kids dumb and weak, that's what they want. And they will say that it's strength, uh, it's not. They'll say I'm protecting them from having their feelings hurt. They want them dumb and weak. They don't want them capable of posing a threat to the system. That's what it is. Really fast, I apologize, we're gonna go slightly over. Here, here is why something like this might be necessary. According to a poll from two years ago, almost two thirds of young American adults do not know that six million Jews were killed during the Holocaust. One in 10 believe that Jews caused the Holocaust. 48% wow. could not name a single concentration camp or ghetto established during World War II. Almost a quarter said they believed the Holocaust was a myth or had been exaggerated or they weren't sure. One in eight said they had definitely not even heard about the Holocaust. Wow. More than half though 
have seen Nazi symbols on their social media platforms. Because that is still freely available, that's everywhere. Um, but kids don't know about this stuff and the Republicans love the growing ignorance. They don't want people knowing about this. They don't want them to learn lessons from history because the Republicans want to repeat these things. Well, to quote 1984, the past was erased, the erasure was forgotten, and the lie became the truth. Yeah, that's from the book. They're erasing it one book at a time. But again, the left is censorious. Oh, and by the way, the Free Speech Brigade is going to lose it over this, just like they did over that history professor, I believe in Florida, his his presentation being canceled again. They hate censorship, so they're going to be all over this. Yeah. Yeah. Wait for that. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.